Hi, I'm Gracie X. And recently I wrote an article for Mind Body Green called Thinking of Doing a Threesome, Read This First. They uh, named the article. It's not my favorite title. I was really inspired to write about threesomes for a number of reasons. One is they're so legendary and they're of uh, the very charged fantasies for some people. And for those people, I would say, if you are interested in doing a threesome, it's an interesting thing when you start talking about threesomes. A lot of times people think of the couple and they're looking for that third person. So I guess I'll start there. If you're a couple and you're thinking of doing a threesome, spend a lot of time talking, spend a lot of time coming up with agreements and also consider is this more of a sexual thing or are you really looking for a polyamorous triad? If it's more of a sexual thing, think about, you might want to think about people in your circle who are in the outer circle who you know that you're attracted to, but casually bring it up to them. They will not be insulted, they'll be flattered. Be ready to hear a no and be gracious about it. You can also look online. Spend a lot of time though making agreements about what will happen if one of you it feels uncomfortable during the evening, if there are sexual things that you want left off the table, anything that you can imagine that might come up have a word that you may use to, uh, if things aren't going well and one of you feels uncomfortable and you want to uh, cut the evening short. One of the reasons I was inspired to write the article is a phrase known in polyamorous communities called couple privilege. Couple privilege is just what the phrase states. It's the privilege that couples have entering a situation when they're together. And that is something that if I'm the uh, Emily Post of uh, open relationships, that is something that I would want people to think about. Uh, Cunning Minx in her book, 10 Things I Wish I Knew About Polyamory, has this fantastic suggestion of letting the other person make decisions and agreements with you. So you're equalizing the playing field right away. Not everybody is willing to do that. And you know, this video isn't going to answer all the questions about triads or threesomes. It will probably bring up more questions. That is one of the reasons that I feel more comfortable with quads, with, with uh, two couples, because the playing field is equal and the couple privilege is sort of equalized. Elizabeth Sheff, in her book, The Polyamorous Next Door, talks about the unicorn. The unicorn is a hilarious phrase for the, uh, well, I'll read you her description. This is hilarious. The unicorn is an unattached bisexual woman who wants to date or simply have a quick menage a trois with an existing female male couple. She is so rare as to be virtual, virtually mythical. In her most exaggerated form, she is a young single woman eager to move to the couple's dilapidated farm in North Dakota to care for their children, work on their farm, clean their house, be their sex toy, and disappear whenever it would be inconvenient to explain her presence to the couple's family or friends. <laughs> Oh, go Elizabeth. I, you know, it is, um, <laughs> there are unicorn hunters out there, and I don't want to put down anybody's thing. I have been hunted by unicorn hunters. It's kind of flattering. Uh, you, you just want to be aware that you're dealing with a real person on the other side for unicorn hunters approaching people and to be polite and respectful. And it's fun to be a sex toy if that's the game that you're playing and you're consenting to that behind closed doors in the bedroom, but not, you know, people have full lives. 
<coughs> and you want to be respectful of who they are and what their feelings are. In polyamorous communities, every once in a while, at my book reading of what my new book, Wide Open in San Francisco, at Good Vibrations, I met the most wonderful triad. These three people, what I noticed about them right away is there was a balance and equality and just real respect and love going between the three of them. And, you know, I noticed there are people who have written to me and talked to me and they said, you know, my life, my romantic life, my love life, my sexual life did not work until I got into this triad that I'm in, into this threesome. And I, I, you know, I want to close on that note because I think it's a beautiful note. I think for some people, and you know, it can be a quad, it can be more than that. That sentiment could be said for a number of different polyamorous arrangements. But I do think that the triad, the triangle, it can be this beautiful symmetry between three people and can really work. And some people, that's their orientation and it really works for them in that particular uh, configuration. So on that note, I will close. I know this video did not cover everything on threesomes and triads, but I just wanted to tip, dip my toe in the waters of this discussion, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Namaste.